Shelton Downey, one of California's candidates for U.S. Senator, has devised a new pension scheme which he's made appetizing by calling it ham and eggs, something like our familiar roast and boil. An avalanche of petitions in favor of the plan is piling up. Nearly a million optimistic Californians have already signed, and by state law, the electorate must vote for or against these new proposals. In well-equipped headquarters, a large staff of typists and publicity experts is working at high pressure, turning out the most persuasive propaganda, and printing machines can hardly keep pace with it. In beautiful language is described a scheme whereby pension checks are issued that will guarantee every citizen on retirement the equivalent of six pounds a week, the ham and eggs for his declining years. Millions of booklets explain how, by a weekly tax, each pension check pays for itself in so many years. And then, when there's nothing to do, there's nothing to do but collect the pension. With that promise of security, Californians are rallying round with confidence and cash, and the coffers of the ham and eggers are bulging. But opinion is still divided, and pension checks may yet be checkmated. But nothing, it seems, can check the fickleness of fashion. And zips, uh, unlike ships, aren't the sort of things that pass in the night. The latest zip tip from the continent comes in the form of a combined bonnet and collar. The waterproofed material keeps the hair dry in a shower, and as a collar, it's very becoming. From the hair to the air, and some inventions in the realm of aviation. This is a new retractable device for reducing wind resistance. The lever is pulled, and the heavy Lockheed undercarriage is safely tucked away out of sight. Now we reverse the operation, and notice the double action of the sleeve, both sideways and downwards, as the wheel is lowered. The whole equipment is hydraulic. Precisely the same principle applies to the new bombing planes. First, we'll get the undercarriage out of the way. Then, by pushing another lever forward, we lower the bomb rack. But the bombs, of course, are held until released by the pilot. The third lever operates the wing flaps, which also considerably affect a pilot's speed in landing and takeoff. Britain's largest airliner, the Ensign, is equipped with this gear, and she's capable of more than 200 miles an hour. 